And when fans do get to meet you, what's the most common questions they fire at you? What do you always get asked by people? Um, how grossed am? Uh, how grossed out am I by uh, the dissection of bodies, the autopsies that I have to do? That's the big one. And what's your response to that? Um, I'm not very grossed out. Only the the insects freak me out, but otherwise it's fun. What do you think that makes bones so? special that it's been going for such a long time and has a huge fan base? Oh, um, I, I'm guessing probably, I, I think it's the cast, the interaction, the sort of odd balance between procedural, like grim procedural stuff, and this odd sort of personal relationship, these odd personal relationships that happen and the comedy that sort of manages to filter through, I think it's just a bizarre balance. Do you understand much of the science stuff? Or? You know, uh, over the years we've actually acquired a little bit of knowledge because you start to sort of get familiar with certain things, you know, after seven years. I mean, obviously, um, as you say, it's quite procedural. Is there uh, a lot of fun on the set? Tons. I was just saying, it's it's interesting because I you don't I don't think we realized it until like you know well into like third or fourth season. We are practical joking all the time, dancing in between takes, laughing all the time, and I think it's probably, not only do we get along, but I think it sort of helps keep us from sort of being aware of how grim what it is, we, you know, we're, what we're dealing with every day is. I mean, talking about the rest of the cast, what are David and Emily really like? I mean, we've, we've grown to love these characters and we've seen them both on screen for such a long time now, but what are they like when the camera's not rolling? Uh, when the camera's not rolling, David likes to, uh, he, he likes fart machines and he likes to um, spank things um, and say, bam, that's his, like, that's his big thing. Everything, whether it's like a corpse, foot, or, you know, so he's usually, he's the practical joker and Emily is probably the sweetest person on planet Earth. I mean, in terms of David's practical jokes, have you been, ever been a victim of any particularly memorable ones? Fart machine. He got me with the fart machine, which I, you can see clearly it scarred me because <laughs> it's. Uh, I sat down, I don't know whether it was in Emily's office, and it was like a nice, gigantic, bad, wet one he got. Yeah, he got me good. And of course, when I mean, you say Emily's one of the nicest people on the planet, what makes her so amazingly sweet? Um, the fact that she is d amazingly sweet, she's just, she's thoughtful, she knows, I, I mean, I know it sounds silly, but she knows every crew member's name, she knows their family, she, you know, remembers birthdays, she's just, she says please and thank you, like, she, and I know this sounds very basic, but, you know, she goes out of her way to make sure that everybody is taken care of, which is a very thoughtful, cool thing to do. I mean, talking about cool things, obviously, the show's been running for such a long time now. We've had so many episodes, and fans have their favorites. For you personally, are there any that, looking back, you're especially proud of or just have especially fond memories of making? I had fun with uh, Aristu's parents, and I also I, I had fun with the identity theft um, storyline. That was really fun for me to do. So the show's been obviously running for quite a long time now. What would you like to see next season happening? Man, um... Hey, well, you know, Cam de de develop developing maybe a drug habit, going to a mental institution. No, I, I don't know. There's like we haven't. There's not much we haven't covered, so I don't know where the writers are going to go. I mean, obviously, each character brings their own element to the show. For you personally, what do you feel you bring to the show? Um, what do I bring to the show? I think I bring an appreciation, Cam seems to bring an appreciation of her team, you know, the, and I think the audience sort of shares that in that appreciation. So the writers kind of always describe me as being the, like the audience, the eyes and ears of the audience. Like I witness um, my, the Jeffersonian team the way, you know, you know, our fans would. And would you like to get out of the lab more? I love getting out of the lab. I actually, here's the fun. We have so much fun doing the experiments in the lab that, you know, it's it's great to be there and it's an, it's an awesome set. But, you know, TJ and I are getting out a lot more. And it's always fun to be like at the bottom of a well or be in the middle of a field finding some grisly, gruesome body, you know. And I always take pictures and say, Mom, just another day at the office. You know, I get to send them to her. So. Was there a particularly memorable death in the show? Ooh. Um, the, oh, okay, it hasn't aired yet. You guys haven't seen it, but um, we find a very uh, blown up, charred guy in, a, in an airstream that's pretty funky, pretty <laughs> funky. He's just kind of everywhere. And does the gore ever bother you? 
Um, I think because our our special effects guys, the Yeager brothers, are so good at what they do, you, we never imagine, when you read it, you can never imagine just how gory it's going to be until you get there. Um, but thank goodness it smells like prosthetics, it smells like rubber, so you know you're not dealing with anything real, so mostly I'm just fascinated by it. I mean, what's been the most fascinating thing that you've got to poke around with? Um, well, I've gotten to do some pretty gruesome stuff. I'm, there was one description I had to I had to slice open a skull. I had to saw open a skull, remove the skull cap, peel back the face. That was pretty grisly. Remove the skull cap, take out the brain, and slice it like carpaccio is how they described it in the script. That was pretty grisly. What was the most emotional episode you filmed? Wow, that's a toss up. I I'd, I'd say um, Zach. The Zack Gormagon episode was pretty emotional for me, and I think Aristu being poisoned was pretty emotional. I mean, what is it about this kind of world that you think fascinates people so much? Why, why, why is it such a constant source of um, excitement, horror, spam? You know, I wonder, I think, I, I think humans, we are fascinated with mortality, you know? We, we are so very alive, I think mortality, we're still curious and mystified by it. So, you know, in all of its forms. So I, I, I don't know if we'll ever run out, of, run out of that particular curiosity. And of course, I mean, you very rarely get a chance to play a character for as long as you have. I mean, what does that give you as a performer that you don't get when you just get kind of one shot in a film or kind of a one-off episode? It's it's almost like doing theater a little bit because you we we've lived with these characters for so long. You actually discover, and it's funny because the writers sort of I, I attribute a lot of this to the writers. Um, they start to add dimensions and layers as the seasons go on. So we're discovering the characters, you know, along with the fans, which is kind of interesting and fun. And apart from your own, do you have a favorite character in the show? I really loved Vincent Nigel Murray. Oh, yeah. I think he was pretty, he was, I'm not going to say my favorite Squintern, but I just thought he was pretty brilliant, and his death was so sad. So. On a happier note, what mm -hmm. else have you got coming up at the moment? Where else are we going to see you? My Bones is keeping us all pretty yeah. busy. So aside from like getting to pop over here for a minute, I go back to work in a month. And where are we at with Bones in the cycle? Where are we going to get uh, kind of more of that? You say you're going back in a month. Yeah, the writers are back, I think, in a week. And the actors are back in a month. And then we start season 10. Final question. You got a message for fans before you leave us? Thank you so much for watching. We have so much fun doing it, and I'm glad that you all appreciate watching it.